Hey everyone, it's Thea, and this is going to be my November TBR. Um, I've got quite a stack here uh, for November. I've got like eight books that I'd like to get to. Don't know how many I'm going to get to. Um, I've got a couple miscellaneous ones, one that I'm currently reading, and a couple for Lala a thon, which is a readathon happening from November 1st through the 9th, which is like already almost halfway over when I'm filming this. <laughs> um, but it's a readathon that kind of started out as a joke that's being hosted by Kayla from Books and Lala. And if you don't know, I'll have all the information down below, but it's basically I read a thon about reading her favorite books, and I already had some books that I own that are on my TBR that are some of her favorites, so I figured, you know what? So this is like the perfect excuse to go ahead and give them a read. So I figured, uh, let's go ahead and try to get them read in November. Um, um, but October was a bust. <laughs> um, but a new month, new TBR, fresh start. Um, but let's just go ahead and dive right in and show you guys what I plan on reading. The first book on my November TBR is a book that I am currently reading, and that's going to be What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam Silvera. I started this in the last couple days in October, but I am been wanting to kind of savor it and take my time with it because I am absolutely loving it. I don't annotate books very often, but I have been kind of annotating this. I'm about 250 pages in or so, so I'm halfway through. Absolutely loving it. I just... Oh, I love this so much and I'm so excited to go ahead and uh, dive back into this. I've been taking my time, I've been reading it slowly, um, but I do plan on finishing up in the next couple days, so this is the first book that I'm getting to for November. And the next three books are the official books that are on my Lala Athan TBR, and what would Lala Athan be without reading her favorite series of all time? And so I would like to go ahead and pick up The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. This has been on my TBR, oh man, two years at least. Um, I This was one of the very first books that I bought when I started my booktube channel. And I know everyone just loves this and raves about it. I even have a signed copy from when I met her at my book festival a couple years ago. And I have never gone around to reading it. Um, and I feel like Lala Thon is kind of the perfect opportunity and kind of the perfect excuse to go ahead and read this. I'm really excited to hopefully be able to read this. I know it's just a kind of a dark, spooky, atmospheric book. And um, hopefully it's something that I like and I can continue on with this series. But this is something that I would definitely like to try and get to this month. The next book on my TBR is also another book that's been on my TBR for a while. Um, I did just haul it recently. And that's The Kiss of Deception by Mary E. P Mary e. Pearson. This is the first book in the Remnant Chronicles. Um, this is another one of books that is on her like list of like 200 most favorite books. And a lot of people really like this book and a lot of people really like the series. Something that I've been kind of looking forward to for a while. It's kind of just seems like the perfect kind of fantasy that I'm like itching for right now. Um, and so I'm really hoping that I can get to this this month. It is a little bit of a chunker. It's like 480 pages or so. But I feel like if I really enjoy it, hopefully I can just fly through it. Um, but I'm really excited to hopefully dive into this this month. And the other book, the third official book on my Lala Athong TBR there's another book in that um, I has been on my TBR since I started BookTube, and again, another one that I hauled recently, and that's The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier. Um, I talked about this in my library book sale haul, and it's been something on my TBR for a while. I know it's got mixed reviews. A lot of people really like it. A lot of people hate it. Um, so I'm really curious about where I'm going to fall. This is kind of another like fantasy that I just was really intrigued by, um, and I'm just really looking for like just really good fantasy that I can just like dive into and binge really fast right now um and it's not super long and it's not super long it's like under 400 pages and I think this is something that I could fly through if I really enjoy it um and I hope that I can get to it this month as well and the rest of these are kind of just some miscellaneous books that have been on my TBR for a while or just happened to find them at the library. And that is uh, To All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. This book is loved on booktube. Um, and I know the movie recently came out and I haven't read, I haven't seen the movie yet because I've been wanting to at least read this novel first. And I happened to see it at the library. I figured, you know what, let's pick it up, give it a read. If I like it, I can continue on with the series. Um, I'm not don't know if I'm really in the mood for a contemporary right now, but you know what, I figured give it a try and I can always put it down and read it again later, um, but I know this is just something that is absolutely loved 
by so many people and it's been on my TBR for a while and um, I might need kind of a, a kind of a cute contemporary to break up some more like of these like big fantasy books that I want to read so this might be kind of the perfect timing but we shall see if I can get to this um, but I really want to and I've been wanting to read this forever uh, so hopefully I can get to it this month as well and the next book on my TBR was just kind of a random find at the library it wasn't something that was on my like TBR, physically TBR, or like my Goodreads TBR, but I, um, but I know a lot of people love it on booktube and it kind of seems like it's a really like hard hitting emotional read. It might be something that I really need right now. I figured you know what let's go ahead and try and see, see what I think and that is The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender. Um, I know this is pretty popular on booktube maybe last year or two years ago. It never was something that I got around to reading but it just sounds heartbreaking and it sounds really emotional and so many people absolutely love it and it's one of their favorite books of all time. So I figured, you know what, I held the library, let's go ahead, pick it up and give it a read. I'm really hoping I can dive into this. It's not super long, it's like under 300 pages. So this is something hopefully I could read in a couple days or so. The second to last book on my TBR was actually something that wasn't gonna be originally on my TBR either and that is At the Edge of the Universe by Sean Dathan Hutchinson. I actually honestly forgot I had this book. Um, it was in the shed with like my four other boxes of books that I have. It's actually signed and personalized from when I met him like two years ago at the book festival. Um, and what actually reminded me was because um, Kayla from Books on Lala loves Sean David Hutchinson and We Are the Ants is one of her favorite books. I didn't have that but I was like you know what let's go see because I was and I was looking at the books that I owned that were like on her favorite list and I totally found this and I was like oh my gosh I forgot I even had this um and so I figured you know what I bring it out I try it and see if I if it's something I like I don't know too much about it I know it was really intriguing two years ago when it came out and I was like super interested in it I don't even remember what it's about and Tommy and Ozzy have been best friends since second grade and boyfriends since eighth they spent countless days dreaming of escaping their small town and then Tommy vanished more accurately, he ceased to exist, erased from the minds and memories of everyone who knew him, everyone except Ozzy. Ozzy doesn't know how to navigate life without Tommy, and soon, suspect, and soon suspects that something else is going on, that the universe is shrinking. When Ozzy is paired up with the reluctant and secretive Calvin for a physics project, it's hard for him to deny the feelings that develop between him. Between, it's hard for him to deny the feelings that develop between them even if he still loves Tommy. But Ozzy knows there isn't much time left to find Tommy, that once the door closes, it can't be opened again. And he's determined to keep it open as long as possible. I am still actually really intrigued to read this, even after two years, so hopefully this is something I can get to this month. And I love this cover. Um, it just feels so cool. And this cover is just really interesting. And I'm super excited. Now I'm like super hyped again to read this, and I hope is something I can get to this month. And the last book on my TBR needs no explanation. It's Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. This is everywhere right now. Everyone is reading it. Everyone loves it. I know um, the sequel Muse of Nightmares just came out and I happen to see it at the library. I really like the paperback edition. Um, it's kind of really big and floppy. It's something I can, it's much easier to put into my purse than the big hardcover and so I was like you know what let's go ahead and give it a read see what all the hype is about I really really hope it's something I like um, I know everyone is loving it I have no idea what it's even about uh, Laszlo war orphan and junior librarian has been obsessed with the mythic with the mythic lost city of leap for as long as he can remember but it would take someone bolder than he to cross half the world in search of it then a stunning opportunity presents itself in the person of a hero called the God Slayer and a band of legendary warriors, and he has to seize his chance or lose his dream forever. What happened to Weep 200 years ago to cut it off from the rest of the world? What exactly did the God Slayer slay that went by the name of God? The answer awaits in Weep, but so do more mysteries, including the blue-skinned goddess who appears in Laszlo's dreams. How did, the, how did he dream of her before he knew she existed? Okay, I am super intrigued to read this. This sounds really interesting and really kind of just, this just sounds amazing. I'm really excited to read this. Um, it's quite a chunker. It's like, um, it's like 550 pages. I don't know if this is something that I'm gonna get to in November, but um, I'm super intrigued and the library had it. And you know what, I figured 
pick it up and give it a read before, um, at least try to go ahead and read it before the end of the year and we'll see what happens. But now I'm, I'm super intrigued to read this. Um, I'm super excited. I really hope I can get to it this month. So uh, here is my over ambitious November TBR. If you've read any of these, I'd love any thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. What are you guys reading for November? Um, I'm really excited to get to all of these. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get to all of these, but I'd really like to, and I can hope I can at least get to half. Um, but I hope you guys are well. Happy reading. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!